All right, let's move on now to task four, step one, where you'll go ahead and start to build the actual layout now from all this data that you've been working on. To start creating a layout, it's pretty easy. Go up to the tab that says insert. and select new layout. And because I'm in the United States, I have a lot of these sort of English measurements, you might call them, but for this map, you can also look at the tutorial instructions, but I recommended using the ANSI D as in dog size. And when you do that, you get the old way to call it maybe is what you call paper space, but basically you can see this looks like a piece of paper that you'll then um, create your map from. And so, the general steps are going to be, you then go ahead and insert a map frame. And this is why it was helpful to uh, name your map. So the main map, the overview, that's going to be the main mapped area. Select a rectangle like that. And now some of the first things you might need to do is just adjust the position of the map within the layout. And to do that, you can right click inside of the map and select activate. And that'll allow you to do things like pan the map so it fits more into your frame. Like so forth. And then when you're done, you can close the activation map. Now some slight modifications you might want to make even to the map frame. If you zoom in in the layout, you'll notice how it's sort of crooked in terms of the map um, neat line in the actual mapped area. The way that you can fix that is if you go to the actual map frame, right click, bring up its properties, and under these uh, display options. Here's where we have our one to 20,000 scale. Now you can tweak the rotation a little bit. So like it says, it's going to rotate the map itself, not the frame. And so you can do that to kind of adjust. I don't think it needs much. Now I'm even just one degree of rotation. And when we put a scale bar in, you'll see that that'll change things. Um, you can also look back to the tutorial specific instructions on the actual size of the map frame. I used 21 by 32 for its width and height. And in the layout view, you have a very similar kind of button like the map view, the navigate button to allow you to navigate through the, the paper. And so with those adjustments, I'll um, go back and modify the position of my map by activating it and I'll just pan it so it fills that frame up nicely. And this will take a little trial and error to uh, get it exactly the way you want it. And I'll move the whole frame on the paper a little better. So in this case, it'll give me a lot of nice white space down here that I can use for putting my legend and scale bar and those other elements. Now let's go ahead and add um, an inset map that we created from that detail. And you might make things easier on yourself. Your, your layout is gonna have a table of contents and a lot of things happening similar to the main map. So for example, instead of using the default map frame, I might call this the overview. And to go ahead and create the inset map, what you're gonna do here, very similar like when you create the main map, go to insert a map frame. And in this case, select detail this time. And again, we're gonna have this be one to 5,000, but you know, drag, um, 
a rectangle here where you want to put it. And a few things I'll do here now, I'll set its scale here to be one to 5,000. And it, by default, it'll have a, a border on it, but now I'm gonna put a white background because you can see here how it's kind of bleeding together. So if I go ahead and put a white background, it'll make it visually pop out a little bit in terms of showing you that that's in fact the detail map. And so that's all there is to it. And you have all the same functionality that you would in terms of if you had to, if you wanted to adjust where you're actually showing it, but using the activation. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.